to our York 101 video series. I'm Megan and I'd like to introduce you to our first official video topic, how to get funds for your finances. Before we go into the depths and details of how you can get some funds, give us a follow on all of our social media platforms. There you can stay up to date on when our York 101 video series is posted for more information and also if you have any questions that can help you on your York journey. That's at StudentLifeYU on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Now let's get into the video. Now that you've begun your journey at York University, the first step is to pay your tuition. However, before you do that, we're here to teach you how to get some funds for your finances. For this segment, we're going to be throwing it back to some past U-Start coordinators, Tabby and Elise, who are going to be giving a rundown on all things OSA, scholarships and bursaries, and work study positions. So number one, for our domestic students in the house, OSAP is key. So OSAP stands for the Ontario Students Assistance Program, and it's a way for the government to help students who are Canadian citizens pay for their tuition. So OSAP actually has two types of financial funding, grants and loans. Grants are monetary amounts that you don't have to pay back. It's essentially free money. But loans are a little bit of a different story. For loans, you're borrowing money from the government and you must pay this back after you graduate. But be careful, loans can accumulate interest. Right, but if you think you don't need the loans, that's cool too. All you gotta do is indicate that you only wanna receive grants on your yearly OSAP application. In order to apply for OSAP, you'll need to head on over to the OSAP website. We'll leave that in the description box. Start a new application for every term that you'll be starting and be sure to follow the steps. And make sure you submit your application before the recommended deadline of June 30th to make sure you get your funds in time for class. Number two, complete the student financial profile, also known as the SFP, to apply for York's many scholarships and bursaries. So scholarships and bursaries are also like grants. They're free money given from the university for those students who are in financial need or with good academic standing. After you're registered as a York student, all you need to do to apply for scholarships and bursaries is head to the SFP application link which we'll link down in the description below. After that, all you gotta do is wait and maybe you'll get some free money. Number three, get an on-campus job or work-study position. We know a lot about that, don't we, Elise? We do. So while there are so many great jobs out there, on-campus jobs are especially awesome because employers are very understanding towards the fact that you're a student. So this means employers are way more flexible and adaptable to planning work around your school schedule. Just like us, as work-study positions. All you have to do to be eligible for a work-study position is to fill out your student financial profile, like we mentioned in tip number two. Most of these positions will be on the Career Center website. We'll leave that in the description box as well. On the note of on-campus jobs, a quick additional tip is to visit the Career Center where they always update York's available on-campus and remote job opportunities. You can visit careers.york.ca or you can click the link down in the description box below. To stay up to date with all things Student Life YU, don't forget to give us a follow on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Hit that notification bell so that you can be the first to get all the important information that will help you become a successful student here at York University. If you have any financial questions or any questions in general, drop a comment down below or DM us on any of our socials. I hope these tips will help you fund your academic journey. Be sure to join us next Tuesday when we'll be walking you through how to pay your tuition as well as the enrollment deposit. This has been Megan spilling all the York know-how. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Lions!